Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. I want to hit on this TI and Tiny situation first because it seems like the lawsuits that were going on a few years ago when they were being accused of like, you know, drugging folks and, you know, T.I. was putting his foot in people's pussies and shit like that. I, I don't even understand like what the hell that's about, okay? Um, your feet belong on the ground and not in my cooch. I don't know what that's about. But um, the girl who got the foot rammed up her coochie, she's back. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> like how, like what is that? Who puts their foot in? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all not have no chill. I don't know what type of freaky shit y'all be involved in, but I'm sorry. Okay? Toes either belong in your mouth or on the floor. You're not putting your damn big toe in my coochie. Okay? We're not doing that. So the girl who's been crying about T.I. putting her whole foot in her pussy, she's suing. She's back. Okay? <laughs> so she's back with a vengeance. She said, you're going to get this fucking Nike shoe out my cooch, bitch, okay? So, uh, they're now facing <laughs> new accusations, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and read this. Let me go ahead and share this tab. I don't know what type of freaky deaky shit y'all be on in Hollywood, but the foot lady is back, okay? So, they're saying this. This is from TMZ. T.I. and his wife, Tiny Harris, are accused of drugging women that they met of drugging a woman that they met in the nightclub and then taking her to their hotel room for a threesome according to a lawsuit that the woman has now filed against the couple. The plaintiff who fled, who filed as Jane Doe, says she was enlisted in the U.S. Air Force and stationed in L.A. around 2005 when she and a friend went to a party at Coolio's home and met a guy who went by the name Caviar, who they allege worked for Tiny and T.I. In the lawsuit obtained by TMZ, the plaintiff says Tiny and T.I. Uh, no showed at the party, but Cavi Air, or Cavi R, uh, told her that they would be at a LA nightclub, um, and that's where they met in the VIP section. The woman says she was ordered two amaretto sours, that she ordered two amaretto sours on her own before Tiny allegedly handed her another drink one from which she never talked she never saw a tiny sip from uh the woman also shared it with her friend when ti decided to leave the club the woman claims he asked her to ride with tiny and him while her friend would ride with caviar who said they were all going to the same place but that's not how it played out allegedly in the suit the woman says two other women that she didn't know got in the suv with tiny and ti and herself and all five of them ended up in a hotel room but Tiny kicked the other two women out because one was flirting too much with T.I. Once it was just three of them, she alleges that Tiny took off into her bathroom where she took off both of their clothes and then a naked T.I. joined them and they all got in the shower. Afterwards, she claimed she started feeling lightheaded and extremely dizzy and T.I. told her to go to bed while he watched some porn. She alleged that he handed that he handed her massage oils and demanded that she give him a rub down eventually tiny joined them and allegedly pinned the woman down on her stomach and began rubbing and grinding on her naked body while that was happening she alleges that ti penetrated her vagina with his big toe what the fuck is up with ti in these toes honey so he penetrated her vagina with his toe. She told him no, and she tried to push him away. According to the suit, he got up and said he was going to go get a condom, but the plaintiff said that she went to the bathroom to vomit. She claims T.I. mockingly laughed at her and said, are you all right? Looks like you in last place. Shortly thereafter, she said she passed out until the next morning when a security guard woke her up and claimed, and she claims that her vagina was in serious pain, itching and burning. 
but that the security guard told her that she had to go and escorted her out while T.I. and Tiny were still asleep in the bed. She is suing the Harris's for sexual battery, assault, negligence, and false imprisonment. By the way, the plaintiff says that she is filing the suit now due to the California Sexual Abuse Cover-Up and Accountability Act, which opened a year-long window for a revival of claims where the statute of limitations would have otherwise ran out. A lawyer for T.I. and Tiny tells TMZ, not only are the claims bogus, but they missed the deadline to file a lawsuit. So now, today T.I. and Tiny are speaking out and so this is what they're telling TMZ. Um, T.I. and Tiny tell TMZ, on the heels of positivity, negativity always rears its ugly head. This plaintiff has been threatening to file a lawsuit for three years, and for three years we have empathetically and categorically denied these allegations. For three years we have maintained our innocent and refused to pay these extortionist demands for things we did not do. For three years we have maintained the same position while the claims in this story have changed time and time again, our position is clear. We are innocent, and these fake claims will not be a shakedown. We look forward to our day in court. So that is what T.I. and Tiny are saying. They're saying, take me to court. And the only thing I can say is I respect that. Unlike Dusty Diddy, who paid within 24 hours, um, T.I. and Tiny are willing to go to court. But um, we'll see if they actually go. You know, they people talk tough until, you know, there's a discovery and um, they go back and peel the layers. So we'll see if they actually go to court and, you know, um, you know, we'll see, you know, what's going on with the foot lady. But, yeah, the foot lady is back. Um, she's tired, you know. And I, I kind of felt like some of the T.I. and Tiny cases would come back. Because, again, ever since they opened the Statue of Limitations in Cali and New York, I kind of felt like, you know, some of their accusers would come back and try to resue. So we'll see what happens, but at least I can respect them for saying that they're willing to go to court. You know, unlike Dusty Diddy, you know, who paid all that money to Cassie because he knew that he did her all the way wrong. So it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, what happens with the tow lady and T.I. and Tiny. But again, this is why I always tell people, at the end of the day, you don't know any of these celebrities. You don't know people personally, and you have to use your discernment. Just because somebody's your favorite artist and you, know, you feel like you know them because you watch their music videos or you follow them on social media, you don't know people's intentions. You know? And so, as a young woman, you have to be very aware of your surroundings, and, you know, if you guys come together in the club, you guys need to leave together. You know, all this, you know, trying to be a groupie and, and get in good. A lot of these celebrities are just trying to use you for some ass. Nothing more and nothing less. I mean, they're, they're, that's just the truth of the matter. It's very rarely that you're going to meet a celebrity and they're trying to wife you up in one night. No, they're just looking for a threesome. They're looking for, you know, a, a quick smash. So you have to be very, very aware of that. And this is why I was saying that it's really sad that so many of these celebrities like normalize and glorify these threesomes and these girls think that it's cute. And then, you know, they're thinking like, okay, if I have a threesome with, you know, allegedly T.I. and Tiny or, you know, Tiana Taylor and whoever is gonna do something for my career, you know, they're gonna help, you know, push me as an influencer. And then they find out later on, no, you was just a bust down. Nothing more, nothing less. And then they're hurt, they're embarrassed, you know, and then, you know, they come out years later, like, he done stuck his toe, my cooch, I want to sue. So, again, y'all don't know these people. So, stop going back to hotel rooms with them and all that other stuff, you know. So, just be very careful. And it's not just celebrities, just, you know, even random people at the club. Like, stop going out for people that you don't personally know, because you don't know what might happen to you. Like, remember one of our tea sippers, um, the young man in Florida who used to call into the Green Room show? His sister was killed by somebody, you know, that she had met, and he ended up, he had killed another woman. They went on a date, and his sister was killed, you know? So y'all have to be, you know, very, very aware and not be so trusting of people. Not everybody has your best interest at heart. Message, okay? <laughs> 
So yeah, it's it's crazy. If you so, want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.